Venus is Earth's closest neighbour. Just over 43 million kilometres away, it's always been an object of fascination for astronomers who believed it to be similar to Earth. In 2005, ESA launched the mission Venus Express, and after eight years of intensive observation, we now know a lot more about this mysterious planet. In the early days of the solar system, Venus and Earth must have been very similar. Uh, but then something happened, and they took a different route in its, in its evolution. But Venus has developed in a completely different way. The temperature down on the surface is more than 450 degrees Celsius, and the pressure, surface pressure is 92 bars. It's almost 100 times more than the Earth. You have clouds that are, that are made up of um, sulfuric acid, in fact. So it's a very nasty place to be at. And the, the, that's one of the big questions on, on, on Venus. Why did Venus go that way, and why did we on the Earth go this way? On Venus, days last longer than years, with the planet taking 243 days to rotate on its own axis and only 220 days to go around the Sun. And it moves in opposite rotation to the Earth, with the Sun rising in the west and setting in the east. Venus also has other interesting characteristics. Not only is the planet subject to strange violent winds that travel at up to 400 kilometers an hour in its upper atmosphere, but it also has massive hurricanes over 200 kilometers across permanently moving around the poles. All this information and large quantities of raw data about the planet have been generated by Venus Express during its time in orbit. This has been distributed to the widest possible audience from experts to the general public. But why is it important to study Venus? Mostly for fundamental science reasons, to learn about not just Venus, but about the solar system, how it evolved, why is Venus different from other planets like Mars and, and, uh, and larger planets? As Venus Express nears the end of its mission, scientists are making the most of the spacecraft's remaining lifespan by using it to make close-up observations of the planet. These maneuvers, called aerobraking, involve taking daring plunges into the planet's hostile atmosphere only 130 kilometers above the planet's surface. Though apparently risky, the information gathered during these are giving us even greater insight into our neighboring planet. We are going so close that we actually sense the atmosphere as a friction against uh, the structure of the, of the spacecraft. And in that way we can measure uh, densities in the, sp in, the, in, the, in the atmosphere of Venus that we have not been able to measure for all those eight years we've been circling the planet. We also measure magnetic fields with a magnetometer. We measure energetic particles that we find there. So it's a very new type of measurements and a very valuable data we're collecting these days. So to the last, Venus Express is going beyond its original remit and providing us with yet more valuable information. This information not only helps us to understand the evolution of our solar system, but as the planet that most closely resembled Earth in its early years, being of the same size and formed at the same time, understanding Venus helps us to understand more about the potential future of our home planet.